Mom here, and today we are making a cast register. So I have a lot of boxes that are coming in, and um, I don't know. I just said I need to start. Ooh, that's gross. That's a piece of hair. Um, I have a lot of boxes that I need to get rid of, recycle, or make something out of. So I said I need to make a register because that's fairly simple, right? Hmm, I don't know. But I needed some kind of incline, so I found this box. And I said, how am I gonna cover it? Am I gonna paint it? Uh, I don't know, it might flake off. So I found some contact paper, and I found some contact paper that was stainless steel. And I thought many reasons of why I thought maybe stainless steel. One, it look, kinda looks nice, and two, um, a dry erase marker would probably work on it. So if the kids were to color on it, um, it would come right off. So anyway, I covered the box um, after I inclined it and I covered it with the contact paper. And then I made a side box, um, another Amazon box that I had um, to make a side component for it. And I found these little organizers at the dollar store. They're like a three, I bought them for my little confettis. Um, but I never used them. They're just sitting there. So I said, hmm, I could probably use these for the cast register money holder. So, but I also wanted it to blend in with my register. So I started cutting pieces um, of the contact paper, um, the stainless steel contact paper um, inside so it would not be transparent anymore and it would match the cast register. And I also found this at the dollar store. It's a painter. It's one of those rollers and I um, put some contact paper on it just so it kind of would match and then of course I found this at the dollar store it's a musical um, calculator so it makes sounds um, which I found kind of unique because the kids like to push buttons and make noises um, and this register is probably for the age of three to five but I started using super glue um, I thought maybe it would be more of a clean look if I used the super glue but it did not work. It started smearing and it wouldn't oh. stick and it was taking forever to dry. So I ended up going back and just using my glue gun. And I was staying away from the glue gun because I didn't want it to be um, messy and puffy. But it's the super glue was just too hard and it wasn't drying fast enough and it was getting all over my fingers and messing up my nails. Um, but that's okay. Oh. So I mounted the. Um, calculator to act as the cast registers um, numbers um, so I kind of was just see right there it started just sliding and slippery and getting all messy so I said forget it I'm busting out the glue gun so I attached the um, money holder here and again I ended up going back with the glue gun um, because it wasn't securing properly um, but why I'm doing this I noticed that when I glued it I glued the top of the lid too close so the lid for that dispenser is actually not securing as as I want it to so if you're going to try to make a cash register when you do glue it on the very top don't put a lot of glue or glue gun because that lid is not going to sit on there properly um, and later on in the video um, in the future of this video you'll see that it just doesn't sit on there like it's supposed to because there's too much glue on the very top of it so I'm gluing the top on um, I'm just gluing this now uh, so we have somewhere to put the money every register has to have money And I think this is when I start deciding, um, I'm gonna just start using my glue gun because this is just not working. So now I'm just gluing it all the way around just to make sure um, so when the kids are getting their change out that it's not going to detach or fall or break. No one wants it to crumble as they're playing with it. So I really try to use a lot of adhesive and a lot of um, strengthening 
in the box. Um, that way the wear and tear lasts a little bit longer. Um, so, so far the box is free. The calculator was a dollar and the organizer was a dollar. So we're up to $2. Uh, the contact paper is what will probably cost you. Um, it's $7 on Amazon. Um, I had it at the house. And again, the calculator I had at the house and the organizer I had at the house. So, um, so now we're up to a couple dollars. So about time everything was said and done, I was under $10 making this register. If you go online, the registers are anywhere from $40 to $60. Um, if, you, if you get it from discount, um, you can normally get them for $40. But if you go to Lakeshore or anywhere else, then you are going to pay more than $40 for a Dramatic Play cash register. But if you have boxes laying around and you're a teacher and we don't have very much money, but we do have a little bit more time, um, and we love the dollar store. Um, these are some easy ways just to make your own. And again, you can paint it or you can use another color contact paper. And again, it, they do have them at the dollar store. Um, you can also use clear contact paper and then maybe put some um, construction paper underneath it if you wanna do that or maybe paint it and then put construction paper over it so the paint will stay on and it won't flake or chip. You can do that as well. So here I'm using the glue gun and I'm just going back over all of the glue because it just didn't work. Um, and then it just started smearing and then actually um, the chemical component started making it um, white, it like bleached it. So I'm just securing it now. And then where it started bleaching it and messed it up, I just took another piece of the contact paper and covered it up and just went with the groove because there's little baby grooves on there and just kind of matched it and lined it up and then covered it and it was pretty fixable. Um, but it kind of bothered me that it was just showing all that um, glue. So I covered it just to make it a little bit more pleasing. And then once I covered it, um, I just secured it and pushed down on it. Um, I started working on the credit card slider and I didn't know if I was going to use like a rubber sole or if I was going to use foam. I thought maybe cutting a piece of foam and then maybe painting it. But again, um, I had this leftover box I was actually going to put in recycling for tomorrow. Um, so, um, Normally the credit card sliders have like a lift to it. So again, I just used cardboard box and started cutting it. Um, and I was actually going to just use this single one and just um, use my box cutter and slice um, a crack all down the middle so the credit card could go. But then I didn't think that would be um, a way to preserve it. So I actually end up making two of these that way that credit card could slide inside both of them. So uh, again, I'm using right-handed scissors and I'm left-handed. So this created um, a little bit of time for me um, as I'm trying to get through this barrier here. So now I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to secure it um, after I cut it so it's more of a, um, a square. Ah, they're slippery little suckers. Um, so I kind of want to secure it um, so it has a fold. Um, that way there's um, a flat surface so the card can slide down. So now I'm working on the coin holder again, and I noticed that um, I can see the glue on uh, the back side. So again, I just went back in and um, fit the squares and cut the contact paper and covered the glue just so it's more aesthetically pleasing and um, you just can't see all the yucky, the yucky glue. And each shape, I just used um, one shape and then I used it as a 
um, a tool to measure the rest of the other two. And then I just um, it fit perfectly on the next two. So it just made it a lot easier. And voila, now they're all covered and you can't see that ugly glue. So next I started cutting um, strips to cover the credit card sliders. Um, now that the, um, the box cutting is now done, now I just have to cover it so it matches the um, contact paper on the top. So now I'm just gluing um, both of the cardboard pieces now that I covered it with the contact paper and I'm just securing it down on the side. That way the credit card, when it slides, it has um, a barrier. And this is the other piece that I made out of the cardboard and I'm just securing the bottom again so that um, credit card piece has a, um, a barrier for it to slide. And I kind of like how it it perfectly matches and um, the hot glue gun reinforces it so it doesn't move. And I'm watching my fingers so I don't burn myself for the hundredth time. I have a love-hate relationship with my glue gun. And voila, it slides. Okay, moving on. I wanted to reinforce the uh, scanner, but I didn't like the neutral scanner. Um, string that I used it just didn't match so I took it off and I found some I don't know some shoelaces I found in the junk drawer and it was fun and sparkly and it kind of matched the whole um, the shimmery kind of look um, so I used that instead and this is going to control the um, I don't know I guess it's a scanner <laughs> the register scanner um, AKA paint roller. Um, that way um, it doesn't get lost because children like to take pieces and you know bring them to the art area or they'll bring them to the puzzle area. So this way the um, the roller stays where it needs to stay and that's in the register area. So now I'm trying to take the sh shoestring and I tied it and I secured it. Now I wanna secure it to the register. So I'm going to um, puncture a hole in the box and right here I am just taking um, a business card actually it's my business card um, and I uh, hole punched it and I tied the shoestring to it and I'm going to roll it up and I'm going to press it on the side of the box inside that hole and what's gonna happen is when you shove it inside the side of the box um, it's gonna be harder for the children to pull it because it's gonna have um, that reinforcement inside that box. Um, again, I've been a preschool teacher for many years and so I see how the children try to pull and tug and destroy some things when it's not properly being supervised. So um, especially with a new piece, they get super excited and they just don't know how to use it. So before bringing a new piece into your classroom, it's good to have circle time and sit down and welcome the new piece and get them excited and, and just, you know, encourage them on how to care for the register and um, how it's components are used and how we keep it safe and how we use it properly just so they know too but here I'm pushing it in I need a extra help so I'm using some scissors just to kind of get it all up in there um, that way when it's fully in there it will unravel inside there and it will be flat <clears throat> so when you tug on it it's not going to come out but just just to be safe um, I use the glue gun and I secure it um, in there so it doesn't get pulled out but again it's it's pretty it's pretty tight in there it's not gonna come out I didn't make the hole um, too big either but this way the scanner um, is attached to the register and we won't lose that piece and I do this later on um, with the um, credit card um, and we'll see that too that way that piece also stays with the register and we don't lose that piece. So now that we have it attached, um, we are going to move on and I found another shoestring in this junk drawer. I have no idea why I have so many. Um, 
but I have one, so I'm excited. Um, I didn't want to use that string again, so I pulled out the black. And this card um, I got from Starbucks, and I think I was going to, I don't know, probably one of my girl's teachers or for myself, I really don't know, but I had it. So um, I'm going to punch a hole in it, and I'm right here, I'm trying to see how long I need the slack. Like if I was a child, how far do I need to pull it um, and I don't want it to be a strangling hazard either. You don't want these children to be able to wrap it around their necks. Um, that's also a safety issue. So um, you don't want it more than a foot long. Just enough where they can slide the card and it can just, you know, dangle in its place. So here I'm just tying a knot after I hole punched it. And I'm just tying it like three times um, just so the babies can't untie it. Um, I thought about super gluing it, but again, I'm just done with the super glue. So once I get it tied, I'm going to um, tie it. I'm going to attach it to this, to the, um, the teal string that's already there instead of making another hole. Yay, so now we can take credit cards and start making some money. So here is the roller and I still have the um, protector on there. So I took plastic off and uh, we don't want another choking hazard there. So now I'm moving into the register and I have these poker chips. They are multicolored um, primary colors. Um, kids don't know they're poker chips because they don't say poker on them. They're just generic dollar store ones. And these are checkers. They've been sitting in my storage forever. My kids, I think, had them. Anyway, um, so I put 25, 10 cents, 5 cents. I thought about maybe making them silver, but eh, I like them this way. So I put them in there so they can have money for their store. And now I thought we need some labeling. Um, labeling is really important. Word print is important for children so they can identify things with letters and words so they can read left to right. So I started, I thought about laminating it and typing it on my computer, um, but again, time consuming and there's so many other things that I have to do today. So I thought I would just use my um, my, uh, what is it called? Label maker, yes, label maker, okay. So I printed out 25 cents, I, my 10 cents, five cents, and I labeled it there, and then, um, what is it? Okay, it's money, so I also labeled it money. Um, I made sure I spelled it correctly, I'm not the best speller in the world. Um, so that way they can um, also see the word print in um, numbers as well. So incorporating literacy is pretty important. Children love to write. So I found this dry erase marker and another original reason why I picked this contact paper is because it's easy to use dry erase marker. So I found some Velcro and I thought it would be easier for the children to keep track of it. Um, so I put a little piece of Velcro on the side and then I put a piece of Velcro on the dry erase marker. That way it has a home. It's really important that everything has a home for children so they know where to put it when they're done using it. Um, and that way it stays secure to the register and we don't lose it. So um, I'm attaching it there and that way if they need to write a note or if they need to add and subtract or if they need to draw three apples because Johnny bought three apples and they can draw three apples and they can count how many apples that Johnny bought, they can draw the picture. Um, if they are not adding and subtracting quite yet, that is still adding and subtracting. It's just drawing the pictures of it. Um, that is still incorporating math and literacy um, into the dramatic play. So that is the dry erase that I attached. So now they can write on the register. Um, and I think that was a fun feature along with the um, calculator that makes the noise. Um, and that's just me playing. <laughs> I like to play when I'm creating. Have a nice day. Have a great day. <laughs> okay, moving on. I need to just... Moving on, box around. mom. This video is getting too long. Okay. And it's super easy to trace.
You can do it with your finger. You can also add another feature, um, maybe a little, um, uh, like a little racer. Um, but for now, this is what I'm using. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to um, attach the last box um, and this is where the food is going to go. So the scanner um, has a home um, so they can put the food on and we can scan away. All right, let's see how our store works. We take off the cover so we have access to our money and we have our quarters, our dimes, and our nickels. 25, 10, and five. So we are gonna purchase some macaroni and cheese. It is, um, I said one plus one equals two. And we're gonna scan it. There's the SKU numbers, but the kids don't know what the SKU numbers are about. They're just gonna scan some boxes and bring some empty boxes into your classroom and shove them with paper um, so they're, they're full and then close them and then seal them with boxing tape. That way they feel full and they don't get damaged easily and then wrap them with box tape. Um, but then, yeah, they can use their credit card and they can exchange with money and then um, they can hand over their food and then they can um, write a little message to themselves or they can add whatever. You can't really see it. The light's pretty, um, pretty bright, but it says, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. It says hashtag box mom. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys make some custom make, um, custom made, custom made cash registers for your classrooms by using just the simple things around your classrooms or at your house or your drunk drawers. Um, and I hope you took some ideas of mine and make them your own and just love learning and love your kids and just ha have them have fun in the classrooms and enjoy learning and have fun in your dramatic play classrooms. It doesn't have to be housekeeping all the time. So there you go. All right. Box mom signing off. Sorry, it's DJ.